सब लोग मचाओ अच्छा डायलॉग अरे वो ले लेना करीना जी कब से कुछ दे रही है पीछे पीछे मैं मैं अरे मंजूर जाते हैं यहाँ पर देखिए ये बात एक लिम्बल ये बात एक लिम्बल पीछे ना करीना जी यहाँ पर देखिए करीना जी करीना जी आस्पी लिम्बल एक लिम्बल पीछे ले ना करीना किस में बांधा करीना करीना यहाँ करीना जी यहाँ लेफ्ट साइड करीना जी यहाँ लेफ्ट साइड यहाँ स्टेडियम करीना जी 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 आप लोग लेफ्ट लेफ्ट इस साइड ना इस साइड ना करीना जी लेफ्ट 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 � ओलो भी नहीं देखा तो मेरा माफ कर हाथी भी चलो मैं टाइम भी देखती हूँ ओलो भी डिसेंड मैं बोला सोलो सोलो मैं सोलो सोलो मैं सोलो सोलो मैं सोलो सोलो मैं सोलो सोलो हाँ हाँ पूरा कुछ जगह पूरा कुछ जगह देता हूँ आ चढ़ो मत बस चढ़ो मत बस चढ़ो फिर मैं झुक जाऊँगा अरे मैडम बड़ा 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 आपका करीना जी 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 ब्लॉग बना के लेते रहो बस। आप फोटो के साथ। फोटो के साथ बड़े ब्लॉग। हाँ। Hi guys, good to see all of you here. Uh, I request all of you to please settle down. The moment that we all have been waiting for is here. And as soon as I see everyone uh, settle down, the seats at the back that are empty, I'd request those standing right at the entrance to please uh, get seated. Okay, good evening. My name is Pati and I'm very excited to be here. Because here, the view is great. All I see is good looks, good looks, good looks. You can't blame me. 
aren't we obsessed with everything that she does on screen and off it? And today is a celebration of that. And so I extend a very warm welcome to this special event organized by PBR Islands. What is it planned here? There's going to be, of course, scintillating star power, discussions about our favorite films, and some very, very special announcements. Karina Kapoor Khan's illustrious career, two and a half decades, for 25 years, she's been ruling over our hearts, and uh, today is a day when we celebrate that. Bade achievements hai unke. I don't know how many of you have seen, but her latest, The Buckingham Murders, is again an atmospheric thriller that talks about grief, the human need for closure. And uh, today we have the lady here as Seth. But it's a ki hum uh, aaj ki puri evening ki shuruvat kare. I think without further ado, I'd like to call upon Mr. Kamal Gyanchandani. A huge round of applause, guys. Don't be starstruck. Mr. Kabul Gyan Chandani is the Chief Business Planning and Strategy PVR Inox Limited and CEO PVR Inox Pictures Limited. He also holds the prestigious position of President of Multiplex Association of India in recognition of his significant contribution to the industry. Sir, I request you to please come up on the stage that we specially curated today and I'd like you to say a few words to all those present here. Thank you, thank you for this uh, very long introduction. No one looks sastra. I think we're all waiting <laughs> for this time. Uh, firstly, uh, thank you for coming out today. We really appreciate the support. Uh, as you know, last four years have been uh, post-COVID. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, some very tough years, but also some interesting phases. Uh, as cinema chain, we are just happy that we are back to doing the normal stuff, which is show new films, do premieres, run festivals, uh, basically give audience an opportunity to come to theatres, immerse themselves in these fantastic make-believe worlds, which are talented, filmmakers create. Uh, as PVR Inox, we are humbled to be part of this industry and today it is an absolute privilege to be hosting a festival for one of the finest actress uh, that we have in our business. Uh, someone who's uh, been at it for 25 years and continues to operate not just in terms of performance, but also in terms of box office numbers. So it's, it's fantastic to be hosting this uh, premiere. Uh, my colleague Neharika will speak in detail uh, about what we are doing. Uh, looking at the feedback that we've got, I, I feel fairly confident this festival will be a massive success. On that note, over to Neharika. Thank you so much. Please, I'd request you to take your seat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to call upon Neharika Bichli from PVR Inox, a key member of the leadership team. She plays a crucial role in driving brand building initiatives and fostering innovation across the organization. Also, you have a special announcement to make today, so over to you. Okay. Well, uh, first, uh, I won't take too much of your time, but uh, thank you. Thank you, Kamal, and uh, thank you, Suthi. Uh, thank you, members of the press, uh, for being here, uh, and welcome. Uh, to this event. I'd just like to take this opportunity to also thank uh, the team, uh, you know, who has worked very hard to put this together. Congratulations on what will be an amazing event and we hope will be uh, a very exciting festival. Um, I just, uh, before we introduce, uh, you know, the lady of the hour, uh, the icon, the legend, uh, Miss Karina Kapoor Khan, uh, I would just like to take uh, a few uh, moments to discuss and tell you why we are here. At uh, PVR Inox, uh, we undeniably believe uh, in the big screen experience. Uh, all our efforts are uh, geared towards making this experience the best for our consumers, audiences, and anybody who enters our cinema. 
Uh, India is a country that loves movies. We know this. This is a fact. But this fact, um, you know, uh, uh, there was a lovely reminder uh, of this very fact uh, with the recent success of re-released films and uh, film festivals, uh, which just verified and validated this Indian love for movies. Uh, what it did for us as a company was that it is a testament to the big screen experience, to the consumers who want to watch films that are still available on smaller formats on the big screen uh, to experience them maybe for the first time or re-experience them in this uh, atmosphere. And it is also a testament to filmmakers, uh, to the creators, the talent uh, who have created uh, such amazing films that have their rewatch value and continue to have that demand today. <laughs> and uh, you know, with that, uh, we as a company are very excited to curate more such re-releases, more such festivals which recognize and celebrate our amazing wealth of films, uh, our amazing talent, uh, not just for audiences who've seen them, but for audiences that will watch them for the first time. And that brings us to today. It brings us to the person we are celebrating uh, and uh, to this film festival. Uh, I think, uh, honestly, Karina Kapoor Khan uh, needs no uh, introduction, but uh, it's a huge round of applause for her. Yeah. I just, uh, I mean, uh, it's an honor to share this stage with her as a oh, also a personal admirer and a fan of her work. Um, but we are so honored uh, to uh, celebrate her latest release and her almost 25 years in the industry uh, with uh, you know this film festival that is so reflective of her amazing talent, uh, her amazing range and her diversity as an actor. Uh, it's 25 years, 67 films and uh, 67 amazing collaborations and I wish we had the time to show all the 67 films this festival but we chose six and we feel it uh, rightly, uh, you know, reflects her bold choices um, and her amazing and very innovative portrayals over the years. And we're very honored to, uh, you know, be a platform that uh, shows all her shades as an artist. So uh, thank you for being here and welcome and yeah, congratulations. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Karina Kapoor Khan. I think that's what a star is because while we started the proceedings here, all eyes were right at the door waiting for you to make that grand entry. I'd request all of you to please take your seat. Mm, popcorn at all. Super. So, um, very happy to be in conversation with the three of you. Like I said, thank you for making the effort to be a part of this uh, very special evening. Because if you are not here today, you feel that something is wrong. There is no train that is shooting. Karina, I will obviously start with you. Um, 25 years has got nothing on you. You look as beautiful as when we first saw you in the J.P. Datta film, making your debut. Uh, your characters today, part of pop culture, uh, whether it's millennials or Gen Z's, we all have seen uh, your characters. We love you. We keep saying your dialogues. How does it feel? Uh, as cliche as it sounds, but it, it, like, it just feels like I just gave my first shot yesterday because that's the kind of energy I have inside me. So I think I still have that um, that fire, that want, that need, that you know, that greed of wanting to just you know be um, in front of the camera. So I, I mean, I today I think I'm feeling honored and humbled because obviously I'm so grateful to PVR and. Um, you know, all of you, to Neharika, to everyone who's actually um, thought of having this festival for all my films, because I still can't believe it's actually going to be 25 years. But uh, I'm so happy that everyone's going to get to watch all the fun movies, as well as some films that I feel deserve so much more at that time are going to get it now, because they're all going to come and watch it, um, you know, again. Uh, so I feel really, really happy that I'm here and, uh, you know, we're going to talk about my movies and how I enjoyed playing those characters. So very, very excited. 
I know, I'm, I'm very glad you said that, uh, because there's so many of your films that you, I'm sure, would have wanted uh, for people to, to see again, and we're getting a chance to actually be able to do that on the big screen. We're talking of today, this uh, Karina Kapoor Khan Film Festival coincides with the release of your latest, uh, The Buckingham Murders. Uh, again, getting rave reviews, and that's something you've brilliantly managed through your career, this balance between our masala commercial hit films, where we love to see you uh, in all your poo gorgeousness, and of course, the critically acclaimed ones. Uh, what, what do you feel about, about your latest offering? Uh, I think Buckingham Murders was a very brave film because it's a film that we set out to do which would be very true to its, uh, you know, its ethnicity, its, uh, its authenticity. We wanted to like shoot the film in a small town in England and it was a story about that. But the way Hansel wanted to shoot it, we were like, we can't have people speak in Hindi, the people, the local people living there. So we said, let's make a Hindi and English and a Hinglish film, but let's stick to you know its truest form. So somehow I just wanted to do it. I thought after like you know 25 years, if if it's not now to experiment and do something different, it's gonna be never. And I've always actually tried to do that with films like Chameli and Dev, uh, very early on in my career. So it's no different now that on its 25th year, if you know, I would want to do something different because. Every other film, the commercial genres like The Crew and Singham and everything is so much a part of my DNA and it's always going to be a part of me. And, you know, that's going to be life. But I also want to do things and try out different things, you know, sometimes as an actor as well. So it's important to strike that balance and I'm happy I've done that because, um, you know, people are watching that version of the film, of the English film and loving it. So. It's, it's a sense of, it's a good feeling to know that, okay, people will go to brave out different things as well. Lovely. You know, uh, this whole uh, whole thing about watching films has a lot to do with the heart. We love it, but there's a business aspect to it as well. And this is where I want to draw in uh, Kamar. This, this trend that we see today of films being re-released, uh, why do you think that's gaining momentum? Well, I mean, uh, one is, uh, you know, sometimes films get released and they don't find the right audience. Uh, and people discover them when they watch it on television through streaming platforms or linear television. Uh, and because cinema going is such a differentiated experience, when you bring them back, there is this positive cycle. Like we keep talking about streaming versus theatres, but these re-releases, the ones which are doing well, is a great example of a positive symbiotic relationship between streaming and theatres because these films have been discovered on streaming. So Tumbar, which has been available for, you know, maybe six or seven years, doing these sort of numbers, like a brand new film, uh, is something which we wouldn't have thought or imagined three or four years back. So clearly, is the streaming, the fan base, the quality, appreciation, word of mouth, all of that is contributing to the success. But this is one variable. Uh, you know, for Leila Majnu, it could be another variable. You know, because the actress suddenly has become extremely popular after Animal, so that's another variable. We as exhibitors, frankly, we like all sorts of films, whether it's a re-release, it's a new film, I'm sure. it's a niche film, it's a commercial film. We want to be of service to all segments of moviegoers, cinegoers, and to that end, pre-release is an important part of the strategy. And this is a trend here to stay. Lovely. I think uh, a segue to um, to my question to Neharika. You know, like you said, you said we love all sorts of films, and we of course have uh, the Karina Kapoor Khan Film Festival, but you have a lot of other. Um, uh, other exciting festivals planned as well. Would you like to speak about those? Um, yeah, I mean, we're still in the process of, you know, uh, curating uh, this uh, re-releases and the film festivals. 
and uh, we're now, uh, you know, like Kamal Osha mentioned, and uh, we've been talking about it. Uh, Re-releases initially, um, you know, were meant to be one thing, but given the success, we want to now adopt a lot of strategy uh, behind them and make them a part of our mainstream programming, and that's an endeavor that we're really pursuing now. Uh, so, you know, in addition, obviously, to this festival, we're doing an ANR, um, you know, festival uh, this weekend as well, which celebrates his 100-year contribution to cinema. Uh, we are looking at, um, you know, some genre-based festivals as well, like a Halloween festival. Uh, we, uh, yeah, because obviously, uh, horror is the new thing, uh, but uh, I think we believe that film festival will do well. In terms of re-releases, we're also trying to understand the current trends. Uh, you know, is it, are there certain nostalgic films that people want to watch in the cinema? And again, it is a result of films like, uh, you know, Rockstar uh, doing well. So it's identifying those films. Uh, then uh, we are also as a company working very closely to restore some classic Indian cinema uh, with uh, this company called Film Heritage, which we're very excited about because it'll allow us to, uh, you know, allow a lot of us to see films that we've never seen on the big screen on the big screen. So there are a multitude of different films and festivals and uh, we have some thought uh, behind putting those together. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So we as cinema lovers are in for a treat and uh, as huge fans of Karina here, I'm going to ask you the simplest question, which is your favorite film of yours? I think it's so unfair to pick one film, uh, considering I... No, no, please look center, man. Like Nyarika just said, Thank I've done you. 67, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I think after a point, you know, you just lose count as, um, you know, what number of film it is. Okay, so let me rephrase it. Uh, which is the film you've seen um, most, your own film? The maximum uh, rewatches or... <laughs> oh God, I don't know. I, maybe it would be, I think, Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Ram. I think just as half the world has, I think I'm pretty much um, a fan of that film as well because, um, you know, I love the idea of family, tradition, um, you know, just that warmth. It gives you that warm feeling. I think that's what everyone kind of loves. And that's why it's, I think, one of the most loved films also. Uh, I think, uh, Karina, you must also be given credit for giving us uh, a prototype of a Hindi film heroine that we keep uh, seeing versions of. Uh, so you played Geet and you were Pooh and after that there are these so many characters in different films, even now with varying percentages of uh, the Geet quotient and the, and the Pooh quotient. What do you make of it today with, with your experience and uh, the benefit of hindsight when you rewatch, say, a poor or a jab we met? What do you, what do you, did you ever imagine that it's going to be such an integral part of popular culture? Not at all. I think when we were doing poo, at least I, I, mean, I I was following just Karan's instructions. I mean, I knew it was like a super fun character, but no one really thought that, you know, 25 years later, you'll still have characters based around who, who are like her, you know. Um, that was never really the intention, because I think when you set out with an intention of saying that we have to make this character great, or, you know, this has to be amazing, it's going to be fab, and you know, like, think that. I think it just happens. These magic has to be, it just has to happen, you know. You never really know when you're creating it. And with Geet, it was the same thing because I was always shooting, I was shooting Tushan simultaneously. Mm. And Tushan was a, like a really big film because it had Akshay Kumar, it had, you know, Anilji, it had Saif Ali Khan, and, you know, it was a YRF film. Uh, whereas Jabbi Met was like, you know, it was more like, you know, it was like we were new and, you know, Imtiaz had done one film and there were never, never really any big, big names attached to it at that point. So I was always like, you know, I'm like, Tashan is going to be amazing and, you know, I'm working on this body and going to do my action film and I would just like, you know, come on the set, but my focus was Tashan. But I didn't really know that what was happening and then Jabbi Met just released and, you know, not that Tashan isn't special, but people just love Jabbi Met more than that. So when you you think that, oh, you know, everyone's going to watch this, but everyone watched that. Mm -hmm. So there was no real plan that, oh, you know, it's going to be amazing. I was also a bit like, oh, 